Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline and today we are going to be talking about my semi free form locks. So I made it y'all. I made it one month being semi free form and I wanted you guys to see you guys out there to see what my locks look like. I wanna go over differences or any changes that I seen within my hair. I just go over that experience, the process and all that good stuff with you guys. So if you want to see the status of my hair, how it's doing, what's going on, then you need to keep on watching. Let me get y'all up to date and in tune with what's going on with my hair if you're new to the channel. So I have been locked for five months now and I just started my semi free form journey last month. So it's been exactly one month since I started my semi free form. Look at that. My scarf is so satin, like it just literally sides off my head. Yeah. So apparently my hair is like, they want to see it. So let me go ahead and show y'all for a month of doing nothing. I didn't even style it, to be honest. I think this month since I like started my journey, I really didn't know what to do so i just ended up not doing anything at all which was great um you can definitely tell getting very frizzy like obviously because you know i haven't retwisted so it's like a lot of separating you know what i mean so that's one thing i can say if you are starting your semi lock journey first thing i just noticed it was just a little bit more frizzy which I love furs, you know, that's just me. I like furs. I like the messy bedhead look. But anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah, I ain't asked for that. <laughs> they just been looking really puffy, you know, doing its thing. Really haven't been messing with it. I think I separated maybe like four times. Because I was just like, wait, what's happening? You know, so that's one thing I would tell you is that just let them do their thing. Obviously, you know, still separate, but I think I probably maybe shouldn't have separated that many times. Um, but yeah, it was new and I was just like, what's happening? You know, it's just weird. Like going from, you know, regular traditional locks, manicured locks, and then going the semi free form journey, it's definitely different because when I was on my manicured traditional journey, I was definitely like, you know, worried about what my hair was looking like, you know, the majority of the time I wore my scarf. But if I wanted to wear my hair out and it just looked like this, I'd be like, girl, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to stay in the house. But now, I don't know, this semi freeform journey, I'm just like, whatever. Take me as I am. Take me as I am. Okay. Like, who cares? Like, really, who cares? Your hair is in a growing stage. It ain't gonna look like that forever. So I say, enjoy your hair. That's what I do. Just, I'm loving it. Like, and because too, like because of the semi freeform journey, I am enjoying my locks. Like I love like just looking at them and just seeing what's happening. It's, it's really a beautiful thing. I'm really enjoying the journey, even though it's only been one month. I know y'all gonna be like, you only been on it for one month, girl, you don't know nothing. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm on the journey now. And I can tell you within this month, I learned a couple things, y'all. I learned that the less work I did to my hair, the more I enjoyed its natural self. Because I wasn't worried about what it was looking like, and knowing that I'm just supposed to leave it alone, I found beauty in that. I haven't even put it in a ponytail. I think the most I did was just got like two of these, two of these little small clips I had and just clipped that. I did that yesterday. That was on my five month log journey yesterday. That was really the most I did. And I'm just really just starting to see the beauty in just my locks. Like there's nothing wrong with my locks. Yeah, they may look a little bit messier to other people, but there's nothing wrong with them. It's clean. Ain't bothering nobody. I hope it ain't bothering nobody. And if it is, oh wells. <laughs> and, you know, I'm enjoying the process. I am enjoying seeing my hair and seeing what it can do without me 
doing anything because y'all know I've gone through this damage stage. I've gone through, you know, the natural hair, bleach, dye, all that stuff. And I said, you know what? I had my fun with all that color, but this time I want to just leave my hair alone because I want to grow beautiful, healthy, thick, long hair. I've done almost everything with my hair except for letting it grow. So that is the kind of like motto I'm on, like don't bleach your hair, don't dye your hair, no retwist, minimum product. Me and my locks, we are on the same wave right now. Like we on the same wave. Other side note, um, if you're new to the channel, this is bleached hair. Okay, this is bleached hair from my first lock journey so that is all bleached right here so this is the hair that i ended up dying which was like a red um at that time because i had a little bit of new growth when i started my lock journey again so it was a little bit red here and then you can kind of see um the dark the dark i'm not sure if my hair is is giving black i don't know it's giving like dark black is giving dark black <laughs> i mean it's giving dark brown or black Ooh, can't even talk today can't even talk today but anyways so that is basically the status of my hair um so the bleach is starting to get to the bottom of my hair which i'm happy because i really want to see the new growth and that's the one thing i love like hashtag I love this about my locks. I love that my new growth is new growth and like is doing its thing, you know? And I'm like, wow. Like I can't wait for my last retwist to go away so they can really look more, you know, natural. And I'm really excited for like how thick they're going to get. I haven't done anything i haven't washed my hair since i retwisted it so that means it's been one month since i last washed my hair so i will say that one thing i changed i stopped spraying my hair with water and i stopped misting my hair with water in the shower because i personally think that it was just drying my hair out for no reason i don't know it's i guess it's like a natural thing when i had loose natural hair i just was heavy on the products spraying my hair down on water trying to keep it moisturized all that product junkie that was me and then i'm realizing i don't need to do that with locks i don't need to do none of that obviously i know i'm not loose natural but i still had that mindset with the products like that didn't change for me for some reason i just just to be like quite honest with you real clear like i really still had the mindset of being a loose natural with my products and just like my relationship with my hair and the products that I was using and not to say the products were bad nothing no product left me in any shambles or anything like that I'm just saying I want to start my semi-log journey with minimum like minimum product I probably want to just have three things which is Shampoo to wash my hair. Oil, which I'm probably gonna do L'Ule Maschetti, which is the Haitian castor oil. And then I'll probably get some rose water. And I think that's it. I don't know guys, I'm just on this journey with my hair and I'm just like, I wanna see you do you. With no help, with none. Just do you, be you, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just honestly, guys, like letting it be, doing whatever. I wake up and I take my bonnet off, shake my hair, and I'm on. I'm on, you know? So also my locks, they do feel thicker though. I will say that some of these in the back, let me see if I can find a really, really thick one. Here's one, like this whole thing is solid guys it looks fluffy i know but it's solid this is a little bit softer 
but it's still solid too. Like this is like a rock. <laughs> so I do have some that are pretty thick and some that are flat too. Um, I personally don't care about the flatness. Like if it doesn't bother me, I can't even see my hair back there. Like who cares? <laughs> You know, it's, I'm not worried about that, to be honest. I'm also enjoying, like, my natural hair coming in. It just looks so shiny, obviously, compared to my bleached ends. Um, but they look so shiny and just so healthy. And I just see little pieces of my hair just everywhere, you know? <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever. It's very interesting. And it's very liberating, too, to know that I'm not so worried about like what my hair looks like in this time. I don't care. Um, I think that my hair is beautiful just the way it is. And that's the path that I'm on, just letting it do its thing, you know? Just simple is better. All that stuff I used to do to my hair was fun and exciting. Like, I loved it. But like now, I'm not on that wave anymore, guys. Like, I'm just like, no, no, I don't want to do none of that i don't have the energy nor the patience all i want to do is let it be separate let it be wash let it be moisturize let it be every day let it be okay <laughs> last month this was one lock and then it separated and i was like whatever who cares they're getting longer which is a given <laughs> with growing your um, hair out. I can tell it's getting longer because it's hanging just a little bit more than like, I wanna say like my second or third month um, journey. Um, and a lot of them are sticking up more, starting to get really stiff, which I know like they're just budding. So I am just like, wow. But I will say y'all, all of a sudden, I'll tell you this. One thing I have noticed is that because I don't do nothing, like nothing to my hair. And this is not just because I'm going semi-freeform. This is just lock, lock journey. Within five months, I'm noticing that because I started this lock journey without my baby hair, inside of my lock i actually got baby hair now like for real guys like all of this it's this is all my problem well i think it's my problem area like this area here it's not that much hair so i feel like a lot is just starting to grow back like all of this don't know where all this hair came from um like seriously if y'all know me i know i never had edges so y'all need to come out here and explain when when did all these edges come from i don't know i don't know i'm not complaining guys because i've been asking the lord to please give me some edges please give me some edges and he was like nope it's until you stop doing all that stuff to your hair you gonna have edges and you'll see She coming through y'all she coming through and if y'all know me i'm telling you i'm gonna go ahead and you know insert some pictures because i don't want to just be telling you i need you to see what i mean when i said sis ain't had no edges and i knew i knew i it's not like i didn't know i knew i didn't have edges but i still wanted to do the cute styles anyway and that was him mm -mm, that was a bad idea that really was a bad idea but it's okay. Every single day you wake up, you have a different set of hair. That's how I feel. And for the past month, I'm like, whoa. Like, it feels different because I'm used to retwisting my hair every month. So now that it is starting, like my new growth is starting to come in, I think it is interesting not having that, you know, manicured look. Um, you can't see my scalp as much. The lines are still there because I'm separating. But, you know, you could just tell that, like, my roots are puffy. So, this is about 
how much new growth I have. I try to put all of my hair in my hand and I'm noticing that number one, they have thickened up and they're solidifying. They're definitely budding because when I first started, obviously they weren't, they didn't bud yet. And it was still, you know, stretchy, like they expanded. So I could be able to just put all my hair into a ponytail. But now I can do that because number one, they're not all the same length. I can't go into a ponytail yet. That's why I'm just like, well, I just have to have my hair down. I mean, there's really nothing else I can do. Um, but yeah, that is really the status of my locks, guys. I have been enjoying the semi-free form journey. I have been enjoying the not having to do anything to my hair. Although there's days where I'm like, oh yeah, don't do anything. You know, I'm still trying to remember that I'm not doing anything. I think that's like the most important part that I'm like, okay, girl, don't do that. But, you know, I really am coming to terms with the semi free form journey. And I think that it was a really, so far, it's, you know, I don't want to say it's the best decision ever because it's only been one month. But as of this month, with having it for one month, I am enjoying my journey. I am enjoying um, just seeing what they do. You know, it's just at this point, it's just I'm observing, you know, as they blossom and as they do what they want to do. Trying not to perfect every log. Like, I like the beauty in the chaos. Like, that's where I'm just basically going with this. I'm, I like the beauty in the chaos of my hair. Because I know it's my hair and I find it beautiful, but people may think that it's chaos. And what's chaos to you is beautiful to me. Okay, so I have rambled for the past 20 to 30 minutes. So I think this video is quite done. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.